Hi everybody, Jeff Weiss here from Target Coatings. The number one question that I'm asked on the Target Coatings website and on telephone calls every day is, Jeff, can I apply your MTech brand water-based clear coats over a solvent or oil-based stain? The answer to that question is, yes, you can. There are some important steps you need to follow. So let's go through them together. First is, depending on the brand of solvent-based stain that you're using, many solvent-based oil-based systems contain a high percentage of aromatic and aliphatic hydrocarbon solvents. Some are mineral spirits. These uh, solvents can leave a greasy, oily feel on the surface of the stain after it dries. So what you need to do is, one, allow the stain of choice to dry for a minimum of 12 to 18 hours. This will give a chance for the solvents to come to the surface, to dry out, off gas, and what's left behind will be handled in step number two. Two, what is left behind is usually a long evaporating solvent, mineral spirits, Rule 66 solvents, something along those lines. So you need to remove that before you move to it, putting your water-based clear coat on top. Now, how do we do that? The easiest way to do it is to take either isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol, whatever is available in your area, and reduce it with water one-to-one. -one. Half, 50-50. You do the math as long as the alcohol of choice is reduced with water. 50-50. That's important. Next, what you'll do is, I like to put it in a spray bottle, mist it onto a clean, lint-free, oil-free cloth, and then lightly wipe the dry stain surface with the cloth, with the towel, with the rag, to just remove that greasy, oily feel. We're not out to move color, and as you see here, no color has moved. Allow this, the uh, alcohol water solution to flash off. The alcohol will drive and pull the water out with it, and you are now ready to apply your first coat of the MTEC clear coats. So here's your next step. Whether it's the EM6000, the 7000, the 8000, the 9300, or the EM1000 Universal Sanding Sealer, it is important that you lay down the first coat very thin, what's called a tack coat or a tie coat. What we want to do is just lightly mist that surface of the prepared stain with your sealer or top coat of choice. Now it is not mandatory that you use the EM1000 Universal Sanding Sealer. It's an option. All of the water-based clear systems in the MTEC line can be used directly on top of solvent-based stains. So after you've applied that very light mist coat, allow that to dry for one hour. You want that mist coat to migrate into the dried solvent-based stain system. Observe for blushing, crawling, crazing, fish eyes, any kind of leveling uh, defect that may signal to you, hey, this isn't working out, stop there. But if you do not see any of those defects, you can now wipe the first coat of the lightly misted water-based system down, again, with a solution of water and alcohol. That'll melt the water-based clear coat or sanding sealer again into the solvent-based stain. It's going to melt it all together. From here, you can then apply your first fuller, bigger coat, two to three mils wet per coat of the finish of choice onto the prepared substrate, and you can proceed from there. So it is a very simple process, but it's important that you follow these steps for a successful finish. My name is Jeff Weiss, owner of Target Coatings, developer of the MTech brand of water-based systems. Feel free to contact me at 800-752-9922 or info at targetcoatings.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your business and for your continued support. Have a beautiful day.